I'm a mitt. Well, I ain't never get smashed in competition because I ain't gonna never get smashed. I ain't trying to be egotistical, but that, you know, I always seen, because I, I mean, I came up, Garcia Davis, you know, we come up in Baltimore, man, you have to fight any and everybody. That's it. That's just, that's, you know, your dojo was the street. I don't know about it. Wasn't no point, wasn't no, wasn't no gear, wasn't nothing. You just had to fight. You see what I'm saying? And um, so when I first got my junior gear, that was cool, man. You know, so I had to tone down our fighting. But even back then, man, it wasn't no tone down. Even in competition, you probably, you probably got a point after they said stop because your point was more solid than the guy that hit you before they said stop. So they seen that guy hit you with a point and you and they had a point, but you kept the continuation after point, and it's like, whoa, no, I gotta give him that one because he dropped his hands. So what I realized through Kung Fu, because you know, that's look at Dennis Brown Shalom Wish your Academy, look at Condi's tournaments, look, man, I I mean, just do do your history. You know, um I done fought a lot of people, did a lot of things, not just in full contact, whatever I did. Come on, man, I did little jujitsu, whatever. I mean, I just wanted to see, but most importantly, I know I can I know I can defend myself on the street. And once thing too, I know I don't have to fight because I don't want to fight, because I understand the consequences of fighting. But without curriculum, what I realized when I was incarcerated, I wanted to be more effective and more competitive with um point fighting. And I realized that at Kung Fu it was a lot of disadvantages because there's a lot of things you couldn't do. You couldn't grab, you couldn't sweep, you know what I'm saying? You couldn't do no guat tie sweeps, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of things we couldn't do. So I had to adapt and understand what you could do and align that in a manner that was safe and wholesome to what we were able to do. So, you know, some of the things we always did in practice, you know, we understand angles are important, you know, so we angle reach hand, you know what I'm saying? We, we understand that angle reach hand to the body. You know, that's a nice little drill angle, you know what I'm saying? Reach hand low. I can angle, reach in high. I can angle, angle reach in. See that? Boom, coming down like that, okay? I can angle, reach in here, okay? I can angle, pop, pop right there, okay? So those are things we did. We practiced the reach hands. And then of course, come on, man, everybody. Bruce Lee, back fist, you understand that? Pop, back fist, pop, back fist. Pop, pop, double back fist. Moving your hands in, closer to your opponent. You working, pop, back fist, you know. And then of course, we have from the lead to the reverse. That's just the flow. Back, reverse, ridge, ridge. Once again, back, reverse, ridge, 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 two, 